What's going on guys, it's New603 from Shoosty Bang, and today I'm going to continue my series of branching out and trying other guns that I personally haven't used in a while, and for this episode I actually decided to go back and check out the F2000. The last time I really used this gun was when we reviewed it, which was over a year ago now, it was actually January of 2012. I stopped using it because it had this negative stigma around it, I didn't want to be judged too harshly by our growing sub base, so I just put it down and forgot about it. Fast forward from then to a few weeks ago, and after I revisited the UMP45, I got to thinking, what other guns have I not used in a long time? And this is actually what spawned the whole series, was going through a couple of different guns. Thinking back on it, the F2000 immediately came to mind because it had been so long since I used it, so I figured, what the hell, I'll try it out. Now, before I do get into it, it's important to know this gun has actually been patched a few times since the game came out. So, I want to compare its current stats to what it used to have for stats back when we originally reviewed it, again, back in January of 2012. Currently, the F2000 has a magazine capacity of 30 rounds plus one of the chamber, and that hasn't changed. The fire rate is a higher than average 850 rounds per minute, but that's also unchanged. The reload times are actually better now than they were before, uh, where now it's 2.5 seconds with at least one bullet chambered and 3.5 seconds if you run it completely dry. The original stats was 2.65 and 3.6 seconds. Damage stats were 25 hit points of damage per bullet at 8 meters, and it dropped to a minimum damage of 18.4 hit points per bullet out to 50 meters. The short range and max damage ratings haven't changed, but the long range is up from what it used to be of 17 hit points of damage per bullet, so it's gone from 17 to 18.4, which is what it's currently at. So long story short, not much has changed. The current stats have the F2000 reloading a blink of an eye quicker, and it got a slight buff in its minimum damage. So what is it about the gun that brought me back to it? Well, as I said, the only reason I stopped using it was because it had a negative stigma to it. It used to be the go-to gun, kind of like how the FAMAS was, and everyone hated anyone that used them, so I just dropped them. What draws you to it is basically like it's the AEK, but no one hates it. You don't hear people complain about the F2000 being a tryhard gun. I really wanted a high rate of fire gun from the assault class, but still wanted to branch out from the normal guns I was using, so the F2000 was a natural choice to fit that need. Now, I gotta say, I love this gun. I completely forgot just how good it was, and it's even better than what I thought it used to be. I don't know, maybe I'm just used to it now, but I actually feel like it's pretty stable to me. If you look at the recoil stats, yeah, it definitely has some high side-to-side -side recoil. And actually, in fact, it has the highest horizontal recoil pattern of all the assault class weapons. But as I said before, I actually prefer guns with more horizontal recoil than vertical recoil, because I find them easier to control than those with higher vertical recoil. So call me weird, but I actually like the look of the F2000 as well. Took a little while to grow on me, but now I just think the it looks awesome. I like the look of it. It's weird, but not overly weird. It's just different. It's a little unique. Now, the reload animation and timing of the reloads does take a little while to get used to. So if you haven't used this gun in a little while, then you'll need to give it a few minutes until you get it memorized. So even though it's actually slightly faster than the AEK for its reload times, it looks like it reloads slower. And it screwed me over a few times when I thought I was done reloading. So I'd throw down a med pack or pull up my balance to try and revive someone only to start the reload process all over again when I pull my primary back out. But I, I do have to say its best feature, which should be pretty obvious, is the high rate of fire. So it's not as high as the FAMAS or some of the other PDWs, uh, but it is faster than the hated M16A3 and the M416, as well as uh, pretty much a lot of the other guns in the game. Like I said, it's higher than average, 850 rounds per minute. So it should be faster than just about most of the guns in this game. It is kind of similar to the AN-94 in that if you can get a handle on the recoil pattern, it's a very rewarding gun. Really taking advantage of that high rate of fire and pushing my running gun in your face playstyle, and I was rewarded greatly for that. I'm still not even that great at PC, but I was doing a lot better with the F2000 than I had been with most other guns. So what did I find for branching out and trying a gun I had rode off for so long? I was rewarded again with finding a gun that I really enjoy and can use for a while now to add a breath of fresh air to Battlefield 3 for me. I guess if I had to rate it, I'd probably end up giving it a 4 to 5. The, the only downside is the reload times are a little bit high and most of my deaths were a result of that from being caught with an empty magazine. To kind of wrap this up, again, it's short, but if you haven't used the F2000 in a while, it's another gun that I recommend you give a try because I think most of you will be happy with the results. However, if you're not big on horizontal recoil and you're more of an AN94 or G3 A3 kind of player, where you're a bigger fan of the vertical recoil, then I would probably skip it. The F2000 handles entirely different from those two guns. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you could uh, take a second to leave a like on the video, share it with your friends. If you could, if not, whatever. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I have a very different gun that could go, well, very differently from these first two. So for the first two videos for this series, I happen to like the results. I was very, very happy with the results. I like both weapons, and I still continue to use them. What I have in mind for the third, 
we'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.